Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening. I'm great. How about you? Good. I'm really good today. Ah, uh, sounds good. How was the weekend? Um, that's fine. Working, but that's fine. Pretty good. Okay, nice. All right. I'm happy to see you here. Let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else? Rigoberto. Hello, Rigoberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm eating. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. <laughs> how was yes. your how, how was your weekend? Oh, it's happy and hard and tired and what else? <laughs> A little bit of everything. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Um, I just going to listen the class because I have a meeting with the client. Customer? Yes. All right. It's okay. Um, just before you go to that meeting, I just wanted to remind you, please, Rigoberto Platform, because you haven't worked on the unit number three. So be careful with that. I need you to advance on the platform, okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, I forgot it. And, and today I'm going to put me in a day. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Do it, please. Okay. Let's see. Sonia Veronica. Hello, Sonia. How are you? Hi, teacher. Welcome I'm to the class. Ex I'm excellent. Thanks. I'm happy to see you. How was the weekend? Uh, so, so. Why? <laughs> Mucho trabajo. <laughs> oh, really? A oh. lot of work? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, um, pero don't worry, everybody. It's Monday. Estamos iniciando. ¿Qué número de semana vamos? Do you remember? Weekend number four. That's correct. So, everybody, week number four this is the last one okay so vean que lejos llegaron all right yo sé que en la semana uno había muchos ahí que ya no voy a seguir ay yo no puedo ay no me sale but look at you now you are in the week number four so basically this is the last week so let's Study a lot, everybody. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I can Dale, see. Necesitamos disciplina y perseverancia. That's Good evening, correct. teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Selvis. That's correct, um, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. Welcome, welcome. So, everybody, um, as your classmate said, yes. Ya solo son cinco clases. Okay, so lo más difícil... Ya lo hicieron. Lo más difícil creo que ya pasó. Así que hoy solo nos resta conectarnos estas últimas cinco clases. Pero voy a pedirles, right, que se conecten las dos horas, right, para que puedan obtener el porcentaje completo de la asistencia. Remember everybody, attendance is important. Pero a veces solo nos conectamos una hora o 45 minutos, o no logramos los 120 minutos. So, aunque ustedes se hayan conectado a la clase, pero si solo se conectaron por una hora, no logran el porcentaje de asistencia. Ok, so be careful with that. But, ya casi, everybody, ya casi. Um, este viernes, básicamente, es el último día de clases. Ok, así que recordarles dos cosas. Número uno, las tareas. All right. Remember, tenemos que trabajar en las tareas de la semana número cuatro. And esta semana vamos a tener el último examen. Ok, así que yo sé que algunos ya lo hicieron. Así que super good job porque realmente veo buenas calificaciones. Pero para los demás, si sienten que el tema es difícil, yo les recomiendo please, que um, esperemos a ver los temas de esta semana, ¿ok? 
Esperemos a ver los temas de esta semana y después hacen el examen. All right. Como siempre, yo voy a tratar la manera de pedir que ver si se les puede eh, dar el fin de semana. Todavía no es un hecho. Así que, pero espero que puedan tener el tiempo suficiente para hacer el último examen. Ok. Así que, pero sí, please, pilas con las homeworks. Algunos van atrasados, así que mm, be careful with that. Now, everybody, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Excellent. So today is December 12th. So everybody, it's almost Christmas. All right? Ya casi, guys. Ya casi es Christmas. Estamos, well, estamos a 12 días de Christmas. All right? So el topic de hoy va a ser prepositions of place. And the objective of the class is that you guys will be able to describe locations of your workplaces, okay? So, before starting, just a reminder, okay? Guys, estamos en la última semana. Como les dije, ya estamos a punto de terminar. Ya completaron básicamente la mayor parte de este curso, así que... Lo felicito por haber llegado hasta acá. Si se fijan, no todos llegaron hasta acá. Hubieron algunos de sus classmates que, bueno, yo ya no los vi conectados. Y hubieron otros que nunca se conectaron. Pero ustedes aquí están. All right? Y estamos básicamente a unas cuantas clases de que ustedes puedan terminar este nivel y puedan moverse al siguiente nivel. Así que, please, solo ánimo. Sigámonos, sigamos conectándonos, sigamos esforzándonos, que solo nos falta un poquitito. ¿Ok? Now, do you remember the topics that we studied last week? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you remember the topics that we studied last week? Or not? Mm. ¿Qué significa estar? At the time. Okay. Uh huh. La hora. The time. Yes. What else? Uh -huh. Time is it. Preguntas con a qué hora llegas a trabajo, a qué hora H. te cuestas a dormir. That's correct. So we studied the double H. Words, information questions, and we studied telling the time. And also asking questions with what time. Very good. I just want to see if you remember telling the time. I have my magic clock here. So what time is it here? What time is it? 20 past. Nine. Very good. Tell this. 20 past nine. Totally correct. Very good. Um, how about here, guys? What time is it? Two. Ten past two. Ten Ten past two. two. Correct. Ten past two. Excellent job. And how about here? A quarter past two. That's correct. Excellent, excellent. Okay, how about, let me check here. What time is it? It's 10 to, 10 to 9. That's correct. 10 to 9. And how about here? Uh, a half past eight. Half past eight. That's correct. Excellent job. So in this case, remember everybody. In the first half, what is the preposition? En la primera mitad, ¿qué preposition usamos? Past. 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 And in the second half? Uh -huh. Two. Two. The preposition is two. 
Simple as that. Now, just remember that we have different questions. For example, if I ask, what time is it? Can I answer like at like this? Ah, what time is it? Ah, at 10 past eight. Is that correct? No. So what is the correct one? It correct. <laughs> we cannot answer with at. We have to answer with eat. But what happens if I ask you, hey everybody, what time do you wake up? Can I answer with um it's 5 a.m. Is that correct? No, at 5 a.m. That's correct. It's in this case, five. exactly, we don't say it, we say at. So you have to check the difference. In the first one, we answer with it's, because look, it's exactly the structure that I'm using in the question. And the second question, I don't have the verb to be, so I cannot answer with the verb to be. Now, we have different auxiliaries. Imagine if I say, what time da, 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 your mom cook, um, cook lunch. So can I complete the question with what time do your mom or what time does your mom cook lunch? What time do? Do, are you sure? Does. Does, are you sure? Yes, yes, she. Okay, that's correct. If you see in this case, we are talking about mom, okay? Mom is third person, yes or no? Yes. 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 If you say your mom, it's like if you are saying she. So we have to say what time does your mom cook lunch. So be careful, be careful with the third person. Imagine if I ask you, hey, what time da, 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 your friends go to work? Again, can I say what time do or what time does? Do. Why? Do. Uh -huh. plural, ah, very good. If you see, is it plural? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And we know that with plural, we use yes. do. Very good. Okay, I can see you remember the topics. Do you have any question, everyone, about telling the time? Any questions? Or are you ready for the exam? <laughs> ready for the exam? Exam. Uh -huh, Aha, ready. Okay, let's have more practice. But first, remember another topic that we studied last week. We studied prepositions of time. Do you remember this topic? Uh -huh. Prepositions of time. Uh, 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 in, on, at. Correct. Remember, we studied three prepositions. On, in, and at. So, hmm, can you remember when can I use on? Uh-huh. In the days. For days. On day, okay. For example, day can I say. Is day. In days. Uh -huh. In days. In days. Day. All right. So, uh, for, oops, let's see, let's see, let me do this. So, for example, when we say Monday, can I say in Monday or on Monday? 
on Monday. Monday. That's totally correct. Very good. So if I ask you, when is your birthday? How can you answer that? When is your birthday? Um, Can I say, uh huh? On? All right. Okay, microphone. I'm sorry. Okay, on. Correct. So remember, when we are talking about the preposition on, we can use on for days, for example, on Monday. Or we can use it for dates. What is the meaning of dates? Fetches. Correct. Very good. So, for example, on January 12, 2023. ¿Es esta una fecha, sí o no? Yes. Totally. Yes. For example, on December 4th. Mm. Right? For example, cuando yo les pregunto, when is your birthday? Ah, my birthday is on December 4th. Or, ah, my birthday is... In March. Okay. On March... 20, for example. Okay? So we use on. Also, if you see, if you say the phrase on my birthday. ¿Estamos hablando de una fecha, sí o no? On my birthday or on your birthday. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's a date. On Christmas, for example. ¿Cuántos días celebramos Christmas? It's only, Man. it's only one, uh, right? 24, so, 25. So we say on because it's date. On New Year's Eve. What is the meaning of on New Year's Eve? What do you think? On New Year's Eve. Año. Año? Años. Años. Okay, Christmas, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. And what happens on the 31? ¿Qué celebramos el 31? Fin de año. Ah, so fin de año. Imagine, nosotros le llamamos no. fin de año, right? But in English, le llamamos año. Nuevo. Ah, año nuevo. Le agregamos la palabra Eve, que estaríamos diciendo víspera de año nuevo. ¿Ok? So, ¿qué celebramos el 31? New, New Year. New Year's Eve. So, New Year's, New Year's. Eve. Correct. A ver, ¿cuál les gusta más? Which one do you prefer? Christmas or New Year's Eve? Christmas. 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 Really? Okay. Nice. Now. Fin de año. New Year's Eve. Okay. Very good. Now, everybody, what is the meaning of in? ¿Cuándo usamos in? En años. Years. Correct. ¿Qué más? In, in meses. Months. All right. What else? Weeks. Weeks. What else? And season. Seasons. Very good. Season. So, exactly, right? Remember. Season. In, más que todo, es cuando hablamos, por ejemplo, de minutes. Si yo quiero decir in five minutes. Okay, no puedo decir, ah, voy a estar lista on five minutes. No, that is not possible. We have to say in, in five minutes. Also, we can use in for months. A ver, 
Vamos a ver si se puede en los meses. Which month do we celebrate eh, Halloween? Octubre. 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 Ok. In October. In October. In October. How about Father's Day? In June. In June. In June. How about Valentine's Day? In February. In February. Okay. A difficult one. Um, let me think. When do we celebrate? I don't remember another celebration. <laughs> um, the death. Mother's the death Day. Day. Oh, okay. Mother's Day. When do we celebrate Mother's Day? In May. In May. In May, right? In May. So every time that you are talking about month, we say in. But pay attention. Only the month. Si ya le agregamos un día, ya no cuenta. Porque entonces se convierte en una date. ¿Ok? Ya se vuelve una fecha. So remember, si solo van a decir el month, perfect. ¿Ok? Also, we use in, como dijo su classmate, years. ¿Ok? A ver, ¿en qué año nacieron? In March 5. Ok, but the year. Remember, ¿cómo decíamos 1985. los years? Very good. In 1985. Remember, los años en in inglés lo decimos de dos en dos. What else? Another year? ¿En qué año nacieron? 1978. In, can you repeat? 1978. 1978. Very good. <laughs> What else? Let's see. Let's see if you remember historical events. Which year was the earthquakes in January 13 here in El Salvador? 2001. Correct. Very good. Um which year was the independence days In which year 1992 <laughs> yes okay very good so if you see if you are talking about years we use in and don't forget decimos el año dividiendo las cifras de dos en dos. Very good. All right. ¿Cuándo más podemos usar in? Look, cuando hablemos de un long period of time. Es decir, un periodo largo de tiempo. For example, in 30 days. ¿Es un periodo largo, sí o no? In? Yes. 30 days. In the future. ¿Es un periodo largo, sí o no? Yes, in the future. ¿Cuánto falta para llegar al future? I don't know. Mucho. In, exactly, look. In 10 years. So, cuando hablemos de periodos largos de tiempo, siempre usamos in. And the last one, seasons. Tenemos summer. ¿Qué significaba summer? Verano. Verano. Correct. ¿Cómo digo invierno? Spring. Winter. Ah, winter. Winter. <laughs> winter. How, how can I say primavera? Spring. Spring. Mm -hmm. How can I say otoño? Autumn. We have two options. We can say autumn or we can say Fall. Autumn es como más común así como en, en países de Europa, right? But in English, it's common to say it fall. So if you don't remember, 
um, the seasons, vocabulary, everybody. Let me show you a picture. Because you have to memorize the seasons. Okay. Summer, autumn. En lugar Summer. de autumn, también podemos decir fall. Okay. So, oh. autumn or fall is the same. Then we got winter and then spring. In El Salvador, can you tell me what is the season right now here in El Salvador? Summer and um, winter. A combination, right? Well, it's more like summer, right? Do we have fall in our country? Tenemos fall? in our country? Not really. No. Uh -huh. Basically, nosotros solo tenemos summer and winter. That's it. Okay, let's continue then. Ya vimos cómo usar entonces el on, in. Ahora veamos cómo usar el at. Do you remember the scenarios for at? Uh huh. Let's see. At five six o'clock. Con la hora. Ah, when we are talking about the time, exactly. Very good. So look at this. At as much as at midnight. Correct. So at básicamente es cuando hablamos de un exact moment, un momento exacto, estamos diciendo el time, ok, for example, como dijo su classmate, una hora, right, ah, at quarter past five, cuando decimos una hora específica, at bedtime, ¿qué es bedtime? What do you think? Para dormir, no. Exactly, yes. At bedtime significa a la hora de dormir. All right, at bedtime. At lunchtime, ¿qué sería at lunchtime? La hora de, hora de almorzar. Correct. Ok, si lunchtime es a la hora del almuerzo, ¿cómo diría a la hora de la cena? I love dinner. Mm. A dinner, uh, at dinner at a dinner time. Dinner Very time. good. Exactly. So midnight. Do you remember the meaning of midnight? Media. Media noche. Correct. So what is the meaning of at noon? Al mediodía. Correct. So what time? Do you have lunch at midnight or at noon? At noon. At noon. That's at correct. Noon. Very good job. Very good job. So these are the most common scenarios when we use on, in, and at. And remember, en este momento estamos hablando de time. All right? <clears throat> Sorry, in your uh, manual, you can see, esto lo vimos la semana pasada, you can see some examples of how you can use on, in, and at. Do you have any questions so far about this topic? No questions. Este es un topic 100%. Una, una pregunta. Sí, Sam. Ok, Guillermo, tell me, what is your question? Es una pregunta bien gramatical en español. Okay. En español, la ortografía dice que los días, los días de la semana, meses del año, no van con mayúscula. Esa ortografía española, aquí lo veo con mayúscula. No sé si está bien, así es la, la gramática gringa. Actually, eh, yes, that's a very good point. In Spanish, los días de la semana siempre van en minúscula, but in English, it is not. In English, cuando ustedes escriben un día de la semana o un mes, siempre se escriben con mayúscula. Always. So, si van a escribir Monday, la M, 
mayúscula. Si van a escribir septiembre, mayúscula. It's a little bit different from Spanish. So, así que en inglés, yes, mayúscula. All right? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Let's continue practicing. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So if you are here and listen to your names, say present. But please, at least when you say present, I want to see your camera on just to see if it is true that you are here, all right? Um, let's see, Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Thank you. Douglas Arnoldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo. Present. All right, Harvey. Present. Thank you. Jesús Ernesto. Present. All right. Jesús Joanny. Present. Great. Jose Alberto Dominguez. Okay. Rigoberto Padilla. Present. Thank you. Rogelio Enrique. Rogelio is not here. Oh my gosh. Okay, Celdis. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Sonia Elizabeth. Um, let's see, let's see. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. All right. Wilson Ortega. Present teacher. All right. Xiomara Elizabeth. No, okay. Yesenia Navarro. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, thank you. So everybody, just to remind you, attendance. Be careful, okay? So I'm going to show you some sentences. Please choose the correct preposition, at, in, or on. Imagine that this is your exam, okay? So you have to choose the correct answer. Hmm, my birthday is... What do you think? On, in, or at? On. 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 Why? In. Why? Why do you think that is on? In. Is day a specific? It's a date. Very good. Look, it's a date. That's why we say on. Very good. Okay, the next sentence. Volunteer for reading, please. We finished the class two hours. Thank you. So what do you think, everybody? On, in, in or at? In. At. Ah. Algunos <laughs> dicen in, otros dicen at. So imagine that this is your exam. <laughs> at. At. Okay. At. ¿Por qué creen que es at? It's in. in. Okay. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué creen que es in? Because you don't tell the hour. You are, you are talking about the finish the class in two hours. Ah, let's go back to the slides. Look at this. Remember, at es cuando decimos un exact moment. Remember, estamos diciendo la hora, un momento exacto. En cambio, el in, look, period of time, un periodo de tiempo. So, let's go back to the example. Si yo digo in two hours, estoy hablando de qué? De un, de una hora? Un estoy diciendo la hora o un periodo de tiempo? Un periodo de tiempo. It's a period of time. Yeah. So, vamos a decir. It's teacher, if, if, you, if you say we, we finish the class at 7.30. Exactly. Totally correct. Imagine, everybody, que en lugar de decir two hours, yo diga, we finished the class, ta, 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 10 p.m. Aquí que voy a decir, in 10 p.m. or at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Aquí voy a decir at. at Why? Because I'm telling the specific time, the exact moment. Okay, that's the difference. ¿Se entendió el por qué usamos in? 
in this sentence? Yes. Yes? Yes. All right. So be careful. Si algo así les aparece en el examen, read carefully, everybody. Read carefully. Okay, let's go for the next sentence. I need a volunteer for reading, please. They want to work at 6 a.m. Okay, do you, do you agree, everybody? At 6 a.m.? Uh, yes. 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 Totally. We are telling the time. Nice. Very good. Okay, the last one. Volunteer for reading, please. He visits his sparring. Please, Mark. Thank you. Uh -huh, everybody. On, in, or at? In. In. <laughs> okay, algunos dicen on, in, otros Chris. dicen on. ¿Por qué creen que es on? Especifica in. Navidad. Okay, ¿por qué creen que es in? Porque está hablando en futuro. Hmm. Are you sure? So, remember, Christmas... Christmas is un día específico, sí o no? Yes. Yes. ¿Cuál preposición usamos para días y fechas? On. On. Entonces decimos on Christmas. Ok. So, imagine que este hubiese sido su examen. ¿Cuántos hubieran sacado? Cero. <laughs> Don't say zero. zero, come on. Un zero. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh. my gosh. Okay, uh -huh. ¿y los demás? Five. Five. Okay. <laughs> eight. ¿Alguien con un Yo eight? No okay, so uh, far so good. H. Eight. Okay, so far so good. Okay, remember, you have to analyze. Okay? Let's do another practice, but in this practice, I will be asking individually. Okay, so I will show you different sentences and you have to choose the correct preposition. Okay, so huh, let's see. I'm going to start with Yesenia. Okay, Yesenia, let's see. I have here the morning. Hmm, so what do you think? In the morning, on the morning, or at the morning? In the morning. In the morning. Okay, very good. Ana Carmina, the next one. Sunday. What do you think? In Sunday, on Day. Sunday, or at Sunday? On Sunday. Correct. Very good. Okay, Douglas. Tuesday afternoon. What is the correct proposition? Um. On? Yes, is correct. Very good. Guillermo, look at the next one. Spring. Uh-huh. Guillermo? Okay, it's uh, in. In, that's correct. Very good. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with Harvin. Okay, Harvin? Oh. On. Easy. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Bueno, a Harvin le vamos a preguntar otro porque acabábamos de decir Christmas. So, <laughs> February. In. Correct. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. Jesus Joannis, winter. In. In winter. Very good. Okay, Jesus Ernesto, 2013. Uh, in. In. Oh my gosh, everybody, you are more than ready for the exam. Okay, Selvis, my birthday. My birthday. Uh-huh. In, on, pardon. 
on. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. And yes, mm -hmm. that's Bong. the correct one. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Veronica, weekday. ¿Qué creen que significa weekday? Un día de semana. Exactly. So, Veronica, si estoy hablando de un día de la semana, weekday sería in a weekday, on a weekday, or at weekday. In? Are you sure? ¿Cuál uso para los días? ¿Cuál uso para los días? Um. On. So vamos a usar on. Um. And everybody pay attention here. ¿Cómo digo fin de semana? How can I say fin de semana? Weekend. 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 Ok. Si hablo del fin de semana, ¿qué preposición creen que voy a usar? In, on, or at? On. 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 Exactly. Porque estoy hablando de días. ¿Qué días son el fin de semana? Sunday and Saturday. Saturday. So, cuando estoy hablando de weekday, estoy hablando de días, ¿sí o no? Yes. Yes. ¿Qué días incluye el weekday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, exactly. Thursday, and Friday. Basically, from Monday to Friday. ¿Ok? So, cuando hablemos ya sea de los días de la semana o del fin de semana, vamos a usar on. ¿Ok? Very good night. Now, everybody, volunteer. If I say... The evening, can I say in the evening, on or at? In. In the evening, correct. Bedtime. At. 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 It's a specific time. Very good. Okay, because of the time, we are going to stop there, but later we are going to continue practicing. Do you have any question, everybody, about the prepositions of time? Any questions? ¿Qué significa bedtime? Bedtime. Okay, everybody. ¿Alguien se acuerda qué era bedtime? Uh, hora de dormir. That's correct. So, cuando decimos bedtime, básicamente estamos diciendo... A la hora de dormir. So, for example, si yo les pregunto, um, ¿a qué hora revisan las redes sociales? Ah, ustedes me pueden decir, al bedtime. ¿Qué me están diciendo ahí? Ah, a la hora de dormir. O cuando ustedes se tienen que tomar una pastilla, right? Y el doctor les dice, se la tienen que tomar a la hora de dormir. So, at bedtime. Understood? ¿Se entiende? Yes. yes. Very good. Yes. Any other questions that you may have, everybody? No questions? Are you sure? Okay. If you don't have questions, I, I will ask you, okay? So, I will share some questions and I want you to answer using the correct prepositions. Okay, can you see the questions? No. No. No? Oops. Okay, let me share it again. Give me one second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How about now? No? No. No. Hey, what's going on? Mm 
Nothing really. No, teacher. No, todavía no. Yeah. Really? No, yes, 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 oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> good. No sé qué estaba pasando. Creo que estaba un poquito lento, but okay. So, volunteer for reading the question number one. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay, everybody. How can I answer that question? When is your birthday? ¿Qué proposición vamos a usar? In, on, or at? On. On. Good. So, vamos a decir. My ah, ajá. Uh -huh. um, My birthday is on. Ajá. Uh -huh. Necesito una fecha. July 31st. All right, July 31st. Perfect. So, what time do you wake up during the week? ¿Qué preposition voy a usar ahí? At, in, or on? At. Very good. So, you can say, um, I wake up at... Uh -huh. ¿A qué hora se despiertan? I wake up. Six o'clock. Perfect. At six o'clock. Ahora, Four esto es during the week. Four o'clock. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Four o'clock. All right. Very early. Now, look at the next question. It says on the weekends. So, what time do you wake up on weekends? Remember, during the week is from Monday to Friday. Weekends is Saturday and Sunday. What time do you wake up on weekends? Uh -huh. In. Can you repeat, Veronica? In. In. No. In. Oh, pero listen, aquí siempre estamos hablando del time, un specific time. No. So, si estoy hablando del siempre weekend, at. siempre at, pero como es weekend, ¿se levantan un poquito más tarde los weekends o siempre a la misma hora? Yes. Más a la misma hora. <ríe> ok, algunos es como que a la misma hora, pero ¿y otros? A ver. Por ejemplo, los domingos, right? Sundays. What time do you wake up on Sunday? I... Um... A half past eight. Okay, so you can say, uh, I wake up at half past eight. Perfect. Posiblemente los fines de semana se levantan un poquito más tarde, right? Now, what time do you go to bed? Mm -hmm. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed. Uh -huh. At quarter to uh, 11. Very good. At a quarter, at a quarter to, to 11? 11. All 11. right. Imagine. Very good. ¿Qué pasa si yo me duermo a la medianoche? How can I say that? At midnight. I go to bed at midnight. Correct. At midnight. Perfect. When do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at fifteen past two twelve. Okay. So some of you say a quarter to twelve. Some of you can say at one. Okay. And the last one, when do you go to the supermarket? When? At weekend. When? Okay, si voy los fines de semana, ¿qué preposition voy a usar? Ah, uh, sería on. Ah, okay, so you can say ah, on weekend, weekend, right? El fin de semana. Si yo quiero decir que yo voy al supermercado los lunes, how can I say that? Uh -huh. On Monday. I will say 
on Monday. Very good. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir el lunes en la mañana? How can I say that? El lunes on en la Monday mañana. In the morning. Good. So, you can say on Monday in the morning. O, para hacerlo más fácil, podrían decir solamente on Monday morning. Ya ni siquiera es necesario que le agreguen el el in the morning. ¿Ok? So, listen everybody, we are going to answer these questions because I want you to talk. So you will go and interview your classmates. Remember, the idea, everybody, is practice telling the time, que ha sido uno de los topics que estuvimos estudiando, y también practicar un poquito las prepositions at, in, and on. Si escuchan que su classmate dice, ah, my birthday is... In, mm, no, right? Tenemos que decir on. Si su classmate dice, ah, I wake up on 6 a.m., mm -mm, no. O si su classmate dice, ah, I go to the supermarket in Monday. Mm -mm, remember, that is not the correct proposition. So, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's group. Can you see the questions, everybody? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, let's go and interview your classmates. For this activity, we only have five minutes. So the idea is that everybody participates. So please, everybody, enter to the breaking rooms. In this moment, no more Spanish, only English. Okay, so let's go to work. Okay. Um, do you first or I I do first? You start. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is on um, March twelfth. March twelfth. Okay. The number two, what time do you wake up during the weekend? Um, I, I woke up during the week at <laughs> 6 p.m. <laughs> pass, 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 uh, quarter, six. Quarter past six. Quarter. Okay. At quarter past six. Can you explain one more time? I will. Number three. Uh huh. I wake uh, up. I wake up. At six quarter past. Quarter uh, past six. Number three, what time do you wake up on the weekend? Okay. Yeah. Number three is what time do you wake up in, in the weekend? The, the question, the question. Okay, everybody, the, sell this. Weekend. Sorry, sell this is in the group too, so you can ask him too, okay? Oh, Selvis, I know. Estoy see escuchando story, nomás. Story I know Estaba see. aprendiendo. No, come on, <laughs> practice, practice. Okay, Selvis, the next time tell, tell me, I'm here. Okay, Selvis. Ah, uh, okay, no escuchaba muy bien. Okay, Guillermo. Asking question him. Yes. Selvis. Yes. Selvis. Yes. First question, number one, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is on enero, pues no se me. 
January. 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 Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. 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 Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen. No, fourteen. No, it's. Catorce. Catorce. Okay. It's. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, number two. What time do you wake up during 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 the during the week? I wake up at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. at, at, at I I wake up at four o'clock. Uh, ¿Qué horas me levanto? No. Uh, sí. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, four a. Four o'clock. PM okay. or EM. Uh, um. No, PM o EM. 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 Okay. Te, te está controlando el jefe. ¿Qué hora te echas el agua? <ríe> a, la, a las cuatro. Por... <ríe> ok. Number three. Ok. Wilson, what time do you wake up on the weekend? So, Wilson. Uh, I get up uh, the five, five in the morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Four question. What time do you go to bed? I'm going to go to bed. I'm uh, I'm gonna bed at um, a half past um, I half past ten. Okay. Five question. Okay. When do you eat lunch? When do you eat lunch? I am I am um, eat lunch at twelve. Twenty past eleven. Okay. When do you eat lunch? Vero, ah. why time, why time, what time do you go to bed? Go to bed. Mm -hmm. I go to bed at uh, 10, 20. Okay. PM, when, uh, not CPM. When do you... All right, time's up, everyone. Let's wait for your classmates. All right, all right. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. <laughs> okay, everybody, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> okay. 50-50, okay, all right. Let's wait for everyone. Okay, let's see, let's see, everybody. Claro, how was... Nos estaba corrigiendo. <laughs> ah, very good, Harvin, okay. <laughs> so, what was the most difficult thing? Answer or understand your classmates' answers? ¿Qué sintieron más difícil? What was the most difficult? La pronunciación. Preguntarle. Ask, okay. Okay. So, did your classmate use the correct prepositions? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. 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 All right. Did your classmates speak in English or in Spanish? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Pero ah. poquito. Okay. Poquito English or poquito Spanish? Poquito Spanish. Spanish. Poco Spanish. Okay. That's the idea. Please remember. Let's try to speak the less as possible in Spanish, only English. Okay, so now, um, super good. I was listening, right? The sentences, very good, correct answers. Just imagine one little detail. Imagine if I ask you, what time? Uh, oh, well, la pregunta decía when. When? Do you have lunch? Algo así decía la question. Puedo responder con un I am um, eat lunch at 12. Puedo responder así? Is that correct? No. no. Why not? ¿Por qué no? Tenemos auxiliar y tú. No puedo ir a AM. Perfect. Eso es en lo que quería que se fijaran. Remember, en la pregunta, ¿tengo el verbo to be? No. no right? No. If I don't have the verb to be, so you don't need the verb to be in the answer. So you can say just, I eat lunch at 12. Simple. Understood, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to interview some of you. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Sonia, Veronica. Sonia, mm, when do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at 12. Okay, very good. At 12, 12. is good. Okay, let's see. Um, dun, 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 dun. Anna. Ana, what time do you wake up on weekends? Repeat, please, teacher. What time do you wake up on weekends? Um, I, I wake up weekends uh, at nine o'clock. Okay, nice. Very good, very good. Okay, Jesus Ernesto, tell me, let's see, let's see. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at uh, quarter past 11. A quarter past 11, very good, excellent job. All right, so everybody, that is the most important thing about the prepositions of time. Remember, lo único que tenemos que hacer es Memorize each scenario. Aprendernos en qué escenario, en qué momento vamos a usar at, en qué mo momento vamos a usar in, o en qué momento vamos a usar on. Is it clear, the topic? Yes? Preguntas? Any questions so far? Yo tengo una. Yes, go ahead. O sea, si estoy en, en un diálogo, pues me preguntan. Uh -huh. Pero te levantas el, durante lunes a viernes, digo a las 6 de la mañana, pero luego me pregunto ahí durante, durante los fines de semana y si me levanto a la misma hora, puedo decir la misma hora, pero tú al final. Yes. yes. Por ejemplo, ahí podemos decir, imagínense que ustedes tanto los días de semana como los fines de semana se levantan a las 5. So you can say, um, what time do you wake up on weekdays? Ah, from Monday to Friday. I wake up at five. And then what time do you wake up on weekends? Um, I wake up at 5 a.m. too. Y le agregamos la palabra to para decir también. Es decir, que también a esa misma hora se levanta. It's correct. Okay. Very good. Okay, everybody. Now, we already checked prepositions of time. Eso estábamos viendo, prepositions of time. Now let's change and we are going to see a new topic. And the topic is prepositions, siempre prepositions, pero ahora son de place. What is the meaning of place? Lugares. Correct. 
So, vamos a ver las prepositions que nos indican lugar. Ok, prepositions of place. Siempre vamos a ver las mismas. At, in, and on. So, but in this case, remember, aquí ya no estamos hablando de tiempo. Estamos hablando de places. So, pay attention here. How can I use on? I can, oops, sorry, sorry, give me a second. Okay, how can I use on? Um, can everybody see the presentation? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Okay, on. Vamos a usar on cuando estemos hablando de surface. Surface se refiere a superficies. Cuando hay algo sobre algún objeto. For example, I am on the chair. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? I am on the chair. Estoy en la silla. Exactly. Estoy en una estoy sobre una superficie, yes or not? Yes. Yes, estoy sobre la superficie de la chair. Chair. Imagine si yo les pregunto ahorita, where is your cell phone? Uh huh. Where is your cell phone? In the table. In the All right. Table. Imagine que el cell phone está en la table. Voy a decir in the table, on the table, or at the table. On the table. On the, on the table. On. Exactly. So my cell phone is on the table. Está ¿Sí? sobre la superficie, Mine. right? So, ¿a dónde está? Well, let's see, where is um, where is your dog? Para los que tienen dogs or cats. Where is your dog? Or where is your cat? For example, my cat is on the bed. <laughs> How about yours? Your cat or your dog? Where is it? Uh -huh. No tienen cat? No? Yeah. Not a dog? No. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Where is your computer? Where is your computer? Uh, my computer the is my on the table. The table. Okay. The is on the table, on the desk, right? So, cada vez que hablemos sobre una superficie, podemos decir on. On. All right? ¿A dónde ponemos los posters? For okay. example, uh -huh. on the... En la pared. ¿Cómo exactly. Es la pared? On the wall. wall. Ok. Okay. Estamos hablando siempre de una surface. So, every time that we are talking about surface, we are going to use on. Ok. Now, where else? We are going to use on when we are talking about streets. Cuando ustedes me digan el nombre de una calle, vamos a usar on. For example, si yo les pregunto, hey, ¿dónde estás? Where are you? Ah, I am on uh -oh. Juan Pablo II Street. ¿A dónde estoy? Ah, en la Juan Pablo II. Or, ah, I am on Olímpica Avenue. Estoy diciendo el nombre de una calle. So every time that you are talking about streets, you have to use on. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. ¿Se entiende cuándo vamos a usar on? 
Yes, and surface. Yes. On... Surface and streets. Imagine si yo les pregunto, everybody, where is the city hall? ¿En qué calle queda su city hall? The no city hall on the main street. Very good. So the city hall is on the main street. Very good job. So that is the way that we can use on. Now, how can I use in? In is very easy. In es más que todo cuando hablemos de inside a place. ¿Qué significa inside? What do you think? What is the meaning of inside? Dentro. Adentro. Adentro. Exactly. For example, I am in the room. Vean la diferencia entre el in y el on. On es cuando está sobre una surface. But in is inside. For example, in the room. Estoy sobre el cuarto o adentro del cuarto. What do you think? Adentro del cuarto. Exactly. That's why we say I'm in the room. We are going to use in cuando estemos hablando de City. cities. For example, ah, I am in San Miguel. I am in La Libertad. I am in Santa Ana. Right? Cada vez que digan el nombre de una city, vamos a usar in. And the last one, cuando estemos hablando de countries. What is the meaning of country? I am in Mexico. Good. So, estamos hablando de Países. Países. ¿A dónde es el, el mundial? Where is the World Cup? In Qatar. In, right? Um, where is uh, the Amazon River? In Brazil. In, the... In Brazil. Okay. Where is... Um, I don't know. Let's see. Mm, the Eiffel Tower. Where is the Eiffel Tower? France. Very good. In France. In France. France. So, cada vez que hablemos de countries, vamos a usar la preposition in. So, si yo les pregunto, where do you live? Puedo decir, ah, I live on San Salvador. Is that correct? No. 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 What is the correct one? I live, I live in, in, in San, San Salvador. That's the correct one. So, the last one. How can I use at? At is when we are giving a specific location. location. Pero dice single. Quiere decir que solo estamos dando una localidad o un lugar specific. specific. For example, si les pregunto, where are you? Ustedes me pueden decir, I am in the house. Ah. at work. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? I am at work. ¿Dónde estoy? I am el at trabajo. work. Estoy en el trabajo. Trabajo. ¿Es un lugar específico? Yes. yes. Yes, at work. Or I am at home. At home. home. If you see, no decimos in my home. ¿Por qué? Porque posiblemente pueden estar adentro de la casa o pueden estar en el patio. So I don't know, right? Solo sé que es un lugar específico. At home. Or I am... At the gas station. What is the meaning of gas station? Gasolinera. Exactly. So remember, mm -hmm. at is for specific locations. Be careful with the microphones. So, ¿se entiende cómo usar on 
in and at when we are talking about places? Everyone, is it clear? Yes. Yes. Copy the examples, please. So it will be easier for you to remember. Copy the examples. I will give you one minute to copy the examples. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Okay, ¿ya lo copiaron? Yes. You can see these same examples on your manual, okay? If you see in the manual, if you go to the page 40, you will see some examples. Remember, cuando decimos on, decíamos que era para name of the streets. Cuando hablamos de calles, Decimos on, ¿ok? In, cuando hablamos de cities, or countries, or adentro, inside of a place. Y el at, specific location. Imagine, van a tener una reunión. ¿A dónde va a ser la reunión? Ah, at the meeting room. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? At the meeting room. Salón de sesión. Exactly. ¿Es un, ¿Es un cuarto específico, sí o no? Yes. Yes, it's very specific. So, cuando hablemos de un punto o un lugar specific, we have to use at. Okay? Let's do a practice. I have here, well, let's do these ones first. I have here different sentences. So I want you to tell me what do you think the correct answer is? So I need a volunteer for reading the number one, please. Where's Julie? She's school. Thank you. So what do you think, guys? She is at, in, or on school? At. 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 Why? Porque es un lugar específico. Place. Correct. Very good job. Number two, volunteer for reading. The flower is the table. Thank you. Uh huh. At in or on? On. On. Why? Because it's sobre la mesa. It's a surface. The flower is on. The table. Nice job. Number three, volunteer for reading. My book is my bag. Thank you. Uh huh. In. In. Why? Because the book inside the bag. Exactly. ¿A dónde está el book? ¿A dónde está el libro? In. Inside. ¿Adentro de dónde? De la mochila, del right? Del bolso, mm -hmm. correct. Number four, volunteer for reading. I see you. The meeting room. Thank you. Uh -huh. at, at, in or on? At. At. At, correct. It's a specific. Hey, I see you. At the meeting room. Very good. Number five. She has a picture. What do you think? On the wall. On the wall. Why? Uh-huh. Why? Why do you think that is on the wall? It's surface. It's a surface. It's a surface. Very good. Okay, the last one. Volunteer for reading. John is the bathroom. All right. So what do you think? 
at in or on? At at the bathroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. James. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Why? It's inside. Ah, very good. So look, in this case, in the bathroom, mm -hmm. it's inside, right? Voy al baño, estoy dentro del baño. Es un cuarto, right? In this case, imagine, si en lugar de bathroom, dijese, for example, eh, women bathroom es un poquito más specific, right? Ahí sí podríamos decir at, at women's bathroom, porque estamos hablando que es más specific, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende, everybody, how we can use the prepositions at, in, or on cuando estamos hablando de places? Yes. 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 Any question, everybody? No. Yo tengo una. Yes, go ahead. Cuando es algo más, más específico, porque acá estoy viendo aquí la preposición at, I, I am at home. Uh -huh. Número una, pero ¿dónde? Pero ¿dónde? Ah, y, entonces, y si le digo en el baño, ¿cómo sería? O en la sala. All right. Si ya estamos hablando de un cuarto, normalmente usamos in, porque estamos diciendo que estamos adentro de ese cuarto. Right? For example, In the living room. En la cocina. ¿Cómo diría en la cocina? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. En el baño. Ah, in the bathroom. Ahí decimos in porque estamos diciendo que estamos adentro de ese cuarto. Right? That's why we say in. Yes? Sí, es que la, la duda surge porque... En at estamos hablando de un lugar específico. Yes. Pero For entonces example, dice el, el, perdón, el ejemplo es allá at home. O sea, es un lugar específico en la casa, pero hay lugares más específicos, por ejemplo. Entonces, en este caso, como que hay contradicción, porque estoy dentro del cuarto, dentro del dormitorio. All right. Entonces, ahí ya no es at, mm -hmm. es in. Ok, look at this. Cuando hablamos de locations, remember, hablamos de locations specifics, right? For example, cuando yo les digo a ustedes, ah, I am at home. En este caso se entiende, normalmente, ¿cuántas casas tenemos? Only one, Only. right? So, se entiende que dentro de toda la ciudad, de todos los lugares de la ciudad donde podríamos estar, solo estamos en uno. ¿En cuál? At home. Si yo les digo a ustedes, ah, estoy en el parque. ¿Podría decir at the park? Mm, ¿cuántos, uh, no. parques, ¿Cuántos parques pueden haber en la ciudad? Um, Muchos, right? De hecho, pueden haber hasta más de uno. Pero si yo digo at home, se entiende que es específico. ¿Por qué? Porque normalmente solo tenemos una casa, right? A eso me refiero cuando decimos specific location. Que dentro de una ciudad, si ustedes me dicen at home, yo voy a entender a dónde es. Si ustedes me dicen at work, yo voy a entender por qué. Porque sabemos que trabajamos en un solo lugar. Ahí estamos en ese place. Por eso decimos specific location. Right. Ahora, cuando hablamos, nuevamente regresamos al ejercicio. Cuando hablamos, por ejemplo, aquí de bathroom, ahí sabemos, sí, es un lugar específico, but estamos adentro del bathroom. All right. Estamos adentro de la cocina, in the kitchen. So, piénsenlo de esta forma. Se los voy a poner un poquito más fácil. Cuando hablamos de la part of the house. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? De las partes de la casa. Estas partes de la casa, estos cuartos, están en sí, ya están dentro de la casa. Right? Así que cada vez que hablamos de una parte de la casa, decimos in. In the kitchen. In the living room. In 
the bathroom. Okay? In. Yes? ¿Se entiende un poquito mejor ahora? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, very good. So, remember, you just have to review the specific uses of these ones. Okay? Let's do another practice. And the practice is also on the manual. Let's go to the page 40. Here we got some sentences. And we are going to check the correct answers. But esta quiero que la hagamos individually. Okay, así que les voy a mostrar las oraciones. Son six sentences. Así que en su notebook, please, escriban las respuestas. Y luego las vamos a revisar. Tienen tres minutos para completar estas answers, please. And then I will be asking one by one. Go ahead. Tienen three minutes. Read the sentences. Answer in your notebooks. And then we are going to see the answers. Go ahead. If you have questions about the vocabulary, just let me know. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Answer the sentences real carefully, please. We are going to see the answers and we are going to check if your answers are correct or not. You have two more minutes. Complete the sentences, two more minutes. Complete the sentences. Are you ready or not yet? You finish? No. No yet? Okay, one more minute, one more minute.
Okay, let's review the answers. Imagine that this is the exam. So let's see how many correct answers do you have. I'm going to ask to Wilson. Wilson, read the number one, please. Number one is, uh, I work in the bank that is at First Avenue, Avenue and Barrios Street. Okay, so Wilson, you said at, is that correct? No. Okay, what is the correct one? What answers do you have, everybody? Um, on First um, Avenue. Okay, why? Why on? Because Está nombrando street. una avenida, una calle. Street. Ah, we are talking about street. What is the prepositions for streets we are going to use? On. 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 All right. If you wrote on, that answer is correct. So you can have check. All right. Now, let's see. The number two, 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 two sell these. Can you read the number two, please? Number two. They are factories located. <laughs> located? Located La Libertad. In. In La Libertad. Do you agree, everybody? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's correct. If you see, we are talking about Cities. So if you wrote in La Libertad is correct. So you can have a check. Okay, let's continue with the next one. I'm going to ask you to, 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 to Veronica. <laughs> okay, Veronica, can you read the number three, please? Uh, we see you. See you. See you in. No. Is training room training room training room uh -huh. or the cafeteria 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 uh huh so what do you think in in training room yes okay everybody do you agree in yes or no. Imagine, imagine que estamos en el trabajo y yo le voy a decir, okay, everybody, vamos a tener una reunión. So, we see you, ta, 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 training room, or the cafeteria. ¿Qué preposición voy a usar? At. At. Why? ¿Por qué at? The specific the place. Okay. De un lugar específico. Ajá, very good. So, at, training room, or... We can say at cafeteria, okay? So if you wrote at, the answer is correct, okay? So very good job. Now, the next one I'm going to ask to Anna. Anna, can you read the number four, please? Hello, so, Anna. Anna works in the company that is a town. Okay. A town. What is the meaning of town? Well. Can you repeat? Well. Exactly. Ciudad. Es como decir el pueblo, ciudad. That is the meaning of town. So, hmm. Anna works in a company that is in the town or a town on town. What do you think? In. In. In, in the town. Yes, All right. Yes, yes. Exactly. The correct answer is in. Remember, when we talk about cities, in. right? Cities or countries, we say in. Very good. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to ask to Jesus Ernesto, number five. Can you read it, please? 
my uh, ¿cómo se dice? Relatives. My my relative go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. All right, that's correct. Remember, if we are talking about the streets, we say on. What is the meaning of relatives? Do you know everybody? Relatives. Cuando estoy hablando de mis tíos, mis primos, mis abuelos, ¿qué son ellos? Familiares. Parente. Familiares parientes. o parientes. ¿O qué significa relatives? Parents. Mm -mm. Ok, Par Exactly. So, si queremos decir nuestros parientes, nuestros familiares, decimos relatives. Ok. And the last one, let me ask you to turn. Guillermo, can you read the last one, please? Number six. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Esta la proposición adyante. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay, pero léala, please. Read it. <laughs> Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Thank everybody. you. Everybody. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ese era un regalo extra, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that one was already answered. So yes, at. All right. So everybody imagine if this is your exam, what will be your score? A ver, ¿cuántas buenas tuvieron? All of them. 50, Five. 50. Five, ok. Ajá, ¿y los demás? ¿Pasaron el examen? Yes or no? Four. Nine. Ok, ok. Uh, eight. Hey, it's okay. So, listen, we need to continue practicing this topic. As I said, the most important is memorize the scenarios, okay? If you want to learn, I mean, si de verdad queremos dominar este topic, lo que tenemos que hacer es memorize the scenarios, okay? Now, we are going to continue practicing, but first I'm going to check attendance again. So remember, if you listen to your names, just say present. So, Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay. Douglas Arnoldo. Okay. Guillermo Alex. Present. All right. Arvin Vladimir. Present. All right. Um, Jesús Ernesto. Present. Okay. Jesús Joanis. Present. Thank you. Um, Rigoberto Padilla. Present. Thank you. Rogelio Enrique. Okay. Um, Selvi Sosmin. Present teacher. All right. Sonia Elizabeth. Okay. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Wilson Ortega. Present teacher. Okay. Xiomara Elizabeth. Okay. Yesenia Navarro. Very good. Okay. Excellent job, everybody. Now, let's continue. ¿Por qué son importantes las prepositions? Para saber las prepositions of place, why? Why are those important? Porque si queremos dar direcciones, necesitamos saber, right? How to give address. Así que vamos a practicar un poquito este topic. Vamos a combinar las prepositions of place para dar direcciones, ¿ok? Imagine that this is a city. Can you see that? Pueden ver este mapa? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's review vocabulary. 
Tenemos un bank. Can you bank. give me examples the banks here in El Salvador? Agricola. Agricola. Agricola Bank, Promerica Bank, Cuscatlán Bank. Very good. So, tenemos un sport palace. What is that? Palacio. Del... Palacio de los Deportes. Exactly. Es un lugar donde hay para practicar sports, right? School. What is school? Uh -huh. Escuela. Correct. Muchas... Then we have church. What is Iglesia. the meaning of church? Exactly. Look at this one. Esta ya se la saben. City hall. <laughs> Ciudad. La alcaldía. La alcaldía, mm -hmm. right? Very good. Okay, then we have the park. Then we have the mall. Can you give me examples of mall here in El Salvador? Las cascadas. Las cascadas. Las cascadas. <laughs> what else? Multiplaza. Multiplaza. Plaza Mundo. Exactly. Metro Centro. Metro Centro. Yes, correct. Those are examples of malls. Restaurants. Can you tell me restaurants in your city? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, yes. What else? Betos. Betos restaurants, okay. What is your McDonald's. favorite? McDonald's restaurants, very good. Now, tenemos... Okay, exactly. Very good. And then tenemos Arrows Company. What is the meaning of Arrows? Arrows es como flechas, right? So, esta es una company que se llama Arrows Companies. En una city podemos tener diferentes companies, right? Y cada company con su nombre. And then we have book world. ¿Qué creen que sería un book world? ¿Qué es eso? What do you think? Biblioteca, no. Exactly. Podría ser una biblioteca, un lugar donde venden libros, right? So, in this city, tenemos cuatro streets. Tenemos barrios, streets, First Avenue, Second Avenue, y tenemos el Roosevelt Street. ¿Ok? Now, imagine que esta es la ciudad donde ustedes viven. Yo llego a la ciudad y yo no conozco. ¿Right? Entonces, yo les voy a hacer ciertas preguntas. Por ejemplo, Which street is the restaurant? On. Pay attention in the preposition. Look. So, which street is the restaurant on? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Which street? Ajá. Uh -huh. On. On Roosevelt Street. Very good. So, ¿qué preposition voy a usar? On. Oh. On, exactly. Now, look at the next question. Which street is the city hall on? On 2nd Avenue. Correct. On 2nd Avenue. Which street is the park on? On 1st Avenue. On First Avenue. Si se fijan el park, se puede decir que está en las dos. Right? So podríamos decir on First Avenue and Second Avenue. So podemos decir el nombre de ambas. First and Second Avenue. Ok? So remember, cada vez que digamos el nombre de una calle, vamos a decir on. Ok? So imagine, nuevamente les pregunto a ustedes, piensen en su ciudad, in your city. Si yo les pregunto, which street is the school? Which street is the 
cool. What would be the answer? On third avenue. On third avenue. Okay. Which street is um the bank? How do you say ponient? Mm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Let me check. It's on Barrier Street. It's on? Barrier Street. Okay, very good. So look, if you want to say Poniente, you say West. West Street. Calle Poniente, West Street. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Very good. Where um let's see which street is the supermarket? Uh-huh. Which street is the supermarket? Uh-huh. First Avenue. All right. Now, let's do prepositions. Imagine que ahorita, aquí vamos a ver, let's see. I am right here. Oops. Let's see. I am right here. <laughs> so, where are you? ¿Cuál sería la correct preposition? On First Avenue. Ok, si hablo de la calle, voy a decir on First Avenue. Pero ahorita yo estoy in comprando aquí en mall. el mall. So, ¿cómo voy a decir? I am... In the mall. In the mall. Mm. At the mall. On the mall. Ahí in, estoy. Yo estoy... In, imagen, estoy adentro comprando, comiendo. So, voy a at decir... The mall. <coughs> At the mall, in the mall, in. on the mall. In. in. In the mall. In the mall. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy adentro. Estoy ando comprando, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same. Si, si imagine yo estoy comiendo en el restaurante. ¿Cómo voy a decir? I am. In restaurant. In the restaurant. Ahora, imagine que yo voy caminando, right? Y yo voy caminando por aquí. So, ¿a dónde estoy? En el on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Street. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Exactly. Roosevelt. That's the one. Ahora, si quiero dar address, if you want to give address, tenemos prepositions que son un poquito more specific. Okay? So, for example, and pay attention to these prepositions, please. Tenemos behind. Repeat, everybody. Behind. 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 What is the meaning of behind? Detrás de. Exactly. Behind is atrás. For example, ahí donde ustedes. ¿Qué tienen atrás de ustedes? What do you have behind of you? The shirt. Okay. Very good. And you, everybody? What do you have behind? My wall. The wall. Okay. Anything else? ¿Qué hay detrás de ustedes? What is behind of you? ¿Cómo digo, ropero? Closet. No. Mm -hmm. Closet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the closet. Ahora, the opposite of behind. What is the opposite? In front of. Exactly. In front of. What is in front of you? For example, in front of me is the computer. How about you? What is in front of you? In front of me is a TV. A TV, very good. What about you guys? What is in front of you? The laptop. The laptop, okay. What else? In front the of cell you. Phone. The cell phone, correct. Cell phone. Excellent. The book. <laughs> the book, very good. Now we got the next one. Is next 
to? What do you think? What is the meaning of next to? A un costado. Exactly. Al next to is like a un costado or a la par. What is next to you? For example, next to me is the door. How about you? What is next to you? Next to me is the other wall. Okay, another wall. Very good. Uh huh, everybody. And you? Next to me, my son. Your phone. Okay, nice. Next to me, my daughter. Your daughter. Okay. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So, next to. Now we got the next one. Between. Repeat, everybody. Between. 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 What is the meaning of between? Entre. Entre. Exactly. In the middle, right? So, for example, I am between the door and the wall. How about you guys? Uh huh. I between the table and the wall. Very good. Excellent. What else? Alguien más? Between? Mm -hmm. Between in the wall to wall. Very good. <laughs> Between the wall and wall. Perfect. So don't forget the meaning. Between. Then we have inside. We already checked this word. What is inside? Dentro. And the opposite is? Outside. So where are you? Are you inside the house or outside the house? Inside the house. Inside. Inside the house. Very good. Okay, let's go back to the map. Um, let's see. Imagine, con las preposiciones que acabamos de ver. Where is the park? Tenemos el mall y tenemos church. Where is the park? ¿Qué preposición podemos usar aquí? Between. Ah, between, between, so podemos decir, the, the park is between the mall and the church. church. Ok, yo no conozco la city, así que yo les pregunto, hey, do you know where uh, the city hall is? Where is the city hall? ¿Qué punto de referencia me darían para la city hall? Be mm, the city to... hall. Next to the park. Very Next good. To... Podríamos decir... To the church. In front of... Okay, Next look. to the church. Podemos decir next to the church or what else? In front of? The park. In front of the park. In front of the Very park. good. Okay, let's see. Can you tell me? Da, 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 da. Hey, everybody, where is the bank? Uh huh. Where is the bank? The bank is in front of the sports. In front of the palace. The sports palace. palace. All right. Or now, in front of small. Or in front of mall. Okay, everyone. Where is Arrow's company? Can you tell me where is Arrow's company? In between, in between the restaurant and book world. Very good. It's between restaurant and book world. So we can use those prepositions if we want to give address. 
Now, another phrases that we can use is on first street, right? Que es el nombre de una calle. ¿Qué pasa si el lugar se encuentra en una esquina? How can I say that? Corn, the corner. On, on the, the corner. corner. Pueden decir en la esquina y dicen el nombre de la calle. Yeah. For example, on the corner of Main yeah. Street or First Street. ¿Qué pasa si el lugar se encuentra cruzando la calle? How can I say that? Across. Across the street or opposite so. street. So, pay attention to these ones. Vamos a usar estas prepositions para dar address. Okay? So, imagine, yo les hago una question. Hey, where is the bookstore? Quiero que ustedes utilicen estas prepositions, pero que también me digan el nombre de la calle. So, ¿cómo diríamos una dirección en inglés? Ah, it's, look, primero decimos la preposición on y luego el nombre de la calle. Y luego podemos dar puntos de referencia. Por ejemplo, ah, between the bank and the drugstore or across the streets from the gas station. So, digamos el nombre de la calle y luego demos puntos de referencia. Let's go back to the map. Imagine que yo les diga, hey everybody, where is the school? ¿Cómo me responderían? Where is the school? Necesito el nombre de la calle y puntos de referencia. Ajá. It's on Barrier Street. Very good. It's on Barrios Street. Uh -huh. What is it? In front, oh, across the street. Across store. the street. Oh, sure. From? Uh -huh. Sure. George. Okay, very good. So look, decimos name of the street and then un punto de referencia, a reference location. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to ask individual. Imagínense que esta sea la ciudad de donde ustedes viven, okay? Y yo llego a su ciudad. I am from another country. Yo no conozco, así que necesito su ayuda. So, Jesús Ernesto. Hello, Jesús. Hello. Jesus, do you know, let's see, let's see, where is the restaurant? Um, it's on Roosevelt Street, uh, across the street from Mall. Okay, thank you. Very good, very good. Okay, now, vamos a cambiar de mapa. Okay, I have another map here. ¿Cuáles son los name of the streets that I have here? Main Street, Wall Street, Davis Street. Very Main good. Street. Mm -hmm. Main Street, I have Davis Street and Maple Street. Okay, everybody, can you tell me where is the supermarket? Where is the supermarket? It's on Maple Street. Uh -huh. oh, my my... Okay, it's on Maple Street. It's on Maple Street from to the Chinese restaurant. Okay, okay. Escuché a Wilson. Wilson, can you repeat your answer? Uh, the Chinese restaurant is in front of a uh, no supermarket. Yes, it's supermarket. In front, of, in front of the cinema. Very good. Or All right. Next to the parking lot. Very good. Or next to the parking lot. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, you know, everybody, I need to know where. Uh, where is the hospital? 
Uh huh. Where is the hospital? On Maple Street. Okay, it's on Maple Street. The hospital is behind the park. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about the swimming pool? ¿Qué podríamos mm -hmm. decir? Next to swimming pool. Next to the swimming pool. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. Where is the police station? Look, the police station is in La Esquina. So how can I say that? It's on... Um, Mailbox Street. Corner. Ok. Remember, ¿cómo decíamos cuando se trata de la esquina? The corner. Corner. Pero, ¿qué preposición voy a usar? Uh, at the corner. At the corner. Look. Uh, here. On the corner. On the corner, right? So, podemos decir el nombre de la calle. Podemos decir on the corner of Main Street and Davis Street. Street. Okay, so we need to say on. So, the last one, y con esta terminamos. Let's see, where is the Italian restaurant? It's on the corner, the street, next to the post office. Next to the post office. Or if I have the school? Next to school. Behind next the school. to the school or behind the school. Excellent job. Now, that's the way that we can give address. Tomorrow we will continue practicing this topic so the only thing that you have to do is try to review the prepositions. Do you have any questions everyone? Nos puede enviar ese mapita al WhatsApp. El mapa? Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. I will send it right now. Any okay, other thanks. question everyone? Yo estaba en la luna. <laughs> Why? Come oh, on. Practice, practice. We need to practice, everybody. Listen, no worries. Vamos a practicar el día de mañana, así que cualquier duda que puedan tener, mañana lo vamos a ir practicando y solucionando. Ok, just remember everybody, nos quedan cuatro clases, así que no se me desanimen en este momento. Let's continue. Ya poquito les falta, everyone. Así que ánimo, ok. So, we don't have more time. We are going to stop right here. Este día no se queda nadie porque creo que solo estoy pendiente con Xiomara and well, she's not here. Así que hoy todos directamente to sleep. So everybody, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See good you night, teacher. Bye. See you. Good Goodbye. night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night.